South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands are home to around 70 million seabirds and marine mammals that are drawn here to breed. This makes these tiny specks of land lost in the vast Southern Ocean disproportionately important. For the animals that breed here migrate across the entire hemisphere. So the conservation of these islands is critical for conserving the ecosystem of the entire Southern Ocean. Over the 19th century, sealers arrived and killed millions of fur seals for their valuable pelts. Elephant seals were then targeted for their oil-rich blubber. And in 1904, the first of seven whaling stations were set up to process tens of thousands of baleen whales. The impact was devastating, and the population of seals and whales collapsed. The whalers deliberately introduced reindeer to South Georgia as game. They established and thrived here. Rodents arrived as stowaways on ships, and they spread to many parts of the island. Even non-native plants were introduced. The Norwegian whalers brought clumps of earth from Norway to consecrate the graves of their comrades that died here. Dandelion seeds arrived in the soil, as well as many invasive insects. The non-native species profoundly impacted the native wildlife of South Georgia. The reindeer trampled bird colonies introduced predatory ground beetles, decimated native invertebrates, such as the tussock beetle and the wingless fly. And similar to remote islands around the world, the introduced rodents decimated the native seabird colonies. The impact has been so great that by some estimates, the number of native animals found on South Georgia today may be just half as many as were originally found here when Captain Cook landed on the island 250 years ago. The reindeer and rodents were particularly damaging. They occurred in pockets of vegetated areas around the island. As South Georgia is capped by ice and snow, with glaciers flowing down to the shoreline, areas of vegetation were separated from one another by rivers of ice. As many of the glaciers are rapidly retreating, it was feared that as the ice melted, the reindeer and rodents would spread across the whole island, making the problem even worse. So the South Georgia Heritage Trust and the Friends of South Georgia Island raised funds for a multi-million pound rodent eradication program, which involved the trust dropping tons of rodent poison across the island. In parallel, the government of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands employed expert Sami herdsmen from Norway to round up and humanely euthanize the reindeer. The effort was the largest successful rodent eradication program in history, and South Georgia is now free from these non-native mammals. Numbers of the invasive dandelions are reduced where possible, and the native bird population is already recovering. In particular, the land birds, such as the endemic South Georgia pipit, which occurs nowhere else on Earth. This conservation success story means that it's more important than ever before that all visitors are careful and follow biosecurity rules to prevent the accidental reintroduction of invasive species. 
A single pregnant rat that escapes onto the island could undo years of intense conservation work. And once again, the wildlife of South Georgia could be threatened. Around 10,000 tourists visit South Georgia each year, mainly on cruise ships. Representatives of the government of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands and the South Georgia Heritage Trust give visitors educational talks. They also make sure all equipment coming onto the island is cleaned and carefully checked to ensure it's free of seeds, non-native insects and other unwanted guests. The native wildlife of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands is now protected and the islands are set aside for the millions of seabirds and marine mammals. The surrounding waters are also conserved as an immense marine reserve covering some 1.24 million square kilometres. By protecting the marine ecosystem of the surrounding Southern Ocean, the vast breeding colonies of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands can be saved for the future. The numbers of seabirds and marine mammals of these subantarctic islands are recovering. Even though the population of animals is vast, one day it may return to the even greater numbers that Captain Cook encountered 250 years ago. This film was made possible by the South Georgia Heritage Trust, the Friends of the British Overseas Territories, and the Don Hansen Charitable Foundation. <laughs>